What's up, people? And welcome to another episode, but not really of Supreme Decisions. Because today, I'm not actually going to give you anything as far as teaching. I'm giving you something that I've come across, and I want to give you... I want to give this to you because it's necessary. Because everything that I teach you is about the evolution of your mindset. It's the evolution of our time at this point. And it's also just to help you if you are tired of being tired. And this also cements why I say something. And it's a poem. And it's, if we must die. And the reason this one actually is kind of touching to me is because we're at a point where fighting back is no longer an option. It's a necessity. It's a must. And now if we're looking at numbers, if we're, because I'm a numbers guy, this is the time in which winning has never been easier. Because... This is where we draw our line in the sand. This is where we say, you know what? The system is broken. We have to do something about it. And we must correct the behavior of the wrongdoers. Now, by doing that, one of those things is why you're watching me. The second part of that is understanding. Whenever I gave you the quote from Juice, I gave that to you because that's actually how I feel. In order for us to correct or reform this system, it's not going to do itself that way. They're not going to reform themselves. They're not going to retrain themselves. They're not going to do it because that's not what the system is designed for. It's designed strictly for revenue and wreaking havoc and chaos. And I've said this time and time again, but for some reason, people are not getting it. But this poem actually gives you one of those things. If we must die. If we must die, let it not be like hogs. Hunted and pinned in an inglorious spot while around us bark the mad, hungry dogs, making their mark at our accursed lot. If we must die, oh, let us nobly die so that our precious blood may not be shed in vain. Then even the monsters we defy shall be constrained to honor us through death. O oh, kinsmen, we must meet the common foe. Though far outnumbered, let us show us brave and for their thousand blows deal one death blow. What though before us lies the open grave like men will face the murderous, cowardly pack, pressed to the wall, dying, but fighting back. One of my, one of my favorite movies, I'm not sure if you guys know or listen to the podcast, I spoke about the 300. And in the 300, because again, strength isn't always in numbers. It's in strategy. But the point was, there was a young man. And when Xerxes first came upon them, one of the soldiers was like, oh my God, do you see the size of his army? This young man smiled and said, yes, brother. I only hope that one is man enough to give me a soldier's death when we hear these type things a lot of times we get turned off by them because nobody wants to talk about the end but when you have those that will say I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6 that's someone that wants to fight because in order for the system to correct itself you must be willing to be the corrector and if you're not willing to correct it there's no need for you to complain about how it's working because it's working just fine. 